Hannah was our firstborn daughter, so she was born September 26, 2006. She really honestly was a special child. I remember when we would go to restaurants as people's heads would turn and all of the waitresses would want to come up and hold her. It's like they felt special. She had a very strong presence for someone yeah. who was her age. You know, she walked in a room and she lit it up. She was incredibly passionate. She was incredibly compassionate. She was a fighter. March 20th, 2011. Um, Beautiful day, beautiful spring break day. Actually, it was warmer than normal. We had always had plans to go over to the cousin's house, Hannah's favorite place to go. We we're having a fantastic time, like we like we always did over there, having a blast. About three hours into it, uh, I, I decided to, to leave. Uh, about two hours later, I, I got a call from Shonda's sister, and she was, she was frantic, and she said, you need to get over here right now. She just yelled, Hannah fell, and I'm thinking, you know, Hannah fell, I think, and she tripped and fell on the cement, and she said, no, Hannah fell from the third story window. We rode in the ambulance with her to Blank Children's Hospital. She fought. She fought all, fought, fought all night. My wife and I rocked her. And we heard her take her last of breaths. And that was it. She passed away. 4.23 in the morning on March 21st, 2011. I remember feeling the void, just so lonely, just having her gone. And the blame that I had for a long time on myself of not protecting my daughter, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that feeling on my worst enemy. I feel like, to put it the best way, is that it just stripped me down. You don't know how you're gonna, you know, re-enter life. The outpouring of support that we received from the community, from people we, we, we never even met before, was something that helped kind of propel us forward and to honor her memory. And so, about six months after she passed away, we launched the Hannah Geneser Foundation. And that what really sparked it was when we, we really started connecting with Blank Children's Hospital and the Safe Kids program that they have as well. We were able to fund the building and the opening of the Hannah Geneser Learning Center and Safety Store. There we go. Yeah. It's not just a place where you go in and, and buy safety products. With each product that you buy, there's an education that goes along with it as well. We walked out of that hospital eight years ago without her, and now there is this beautiful store in that hospital with her name on it, with her image on it, with butterflies. You know, that's amazing for me. The safety store was my point of healing that is it's beyond anything I've ever had in the past. I feel her, I do, every time I walk in. It is so warm and inviting. The goals for us, always from the beginning, has always been if we can just save that one life. Um, and if we can do that, save one more, and then one more, and then one more. I know we've made her proud. I know we've made her proud by sticking with the everything. She, she didn't die in vain. She is saving lives. I think that she'd like it that there's a store out there that has her <laughs> name on it. To be perfectly forever. honest with you, forever. I think she'd really like that. I think she'd probably think that was pretty cool.